Hi, how are you? This is James. I'm gonna do a video today about how I did my makeup in high school. Thank you for everyone who DM'd me and asked me to do this video. Um, I don't know why you wanna see how I did my makeup in high school, but I guess I'll, I'll show you. It wasn't good, like at all. <laughs> but I'm gonna do one side of my face, how I do my makeup now and then one side of how I did in high school. Yeah, so before I start my makeup, remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video and comment if you want to see any videos in specifics. Um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I already have two different contacts on. Um, I usually went for like the gray tones or pink. Uh, this one is pink, so it barely shows, so whatever. So this side is gonna be the side where uh, I was in high school and this side is what I do now so basically I, I don't have as much time to do my makeup these days so I tend to just do as little as possible well back then I would have to spend like hours and if I didn't finish I would either cover one side of my face with my bangs <laughs> or I would just not care and walk out with half done makeup but if it was really really bad maybe I would skip school because I was not good yeah don't don't skip school Okay, okay, so complexion products. So this side I'm gonna use my Hourglass Mineral Veil, my favorite primer. Um, just a little bit because it is winter, so I'm a little bit on the drier side right now, so I'm just gonna put it right here where my large pores are. So Jessie gave me this for Christmas. I'm very happy because if she didn't do that, I probably would not have um, purchased it because it's really expensive. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry, I'm still a bit sick, so if I look bloated or if I have a runny nose, um, I, I'm sorry. Okay, so on this side, I would use like a sunscreen and then I would have a kind of like a white cast, but I, I didn't think it was weird back then. Um, now I kind of do. So uh, I didn't have like, what's it called? Liquid foundations back then. I only used powder. So I just really kicked this up to uh, make my skin brighter so I could look like a, what's it called, a vampire. So that was the aesthetic I was going for. Um, I did listen to like Visual K Japanese rock music and gothic industrial music back in the day, so um, it wasn't weird in my friend group. I remember before I would use like one, one of the disposable, disposable sponges or the ones that comes in your compact and then I would kind of just like smear it on. I was really into being as yellow as possible because I thought like, what happened? I think I went to like Macy's or like a department store and then they were recommending me to use like yellow foundation and yellow powders because I'm Asian. I think that looks about right. So for this side, I usually would not use foundation every day, but if I go to events, I would use a foundation. So dot this everywhere. So let's blend this real quick. So that's what I would do. And then I would use, I would powder my face. Uh, let's go with this medium shade from the It Cosmetics CC airbrush perfecting powder with a giant fluffy brush instead. You could see like, on this side, you could still see some of my skin through it. This side, I really kicked up the powder, so it's very mask-like, or at least to me. And then this side, I wouldn't really contour. Um, it just wasn't a thing. This side, I would do a little bit if I go out, so... Just a little bit. Okay. Actually, I, I have to conceal. So I'm gonna try to conceal my brows. I think this works for me because my eyebrows are blonde right now. But before, I would just put them all off. Good enough. Um, okay, so brows, I think my brows were kept dark. And like I said, I had an angled, um, an angled brush, liner brush, and I did like my whole makeup with that basically. So it would start like somewhere here and then I would just go straight up. But I wanted to look as angry <laughs> as possible, I guess. I don't know. And I never knew what to do with the tail. 
So I kind of keep drawing and it kind of did something like that. It didn't blend out that much, but I think I had hair like this, so it didn't matter. <laughs> I was not good at drawing brows back then, but let me do this side now. So this side is easier because I don't have to block it. Uh, I would use a just any taupey-ish, brownish, blondish eyebrow pencil. And then basically, you've seen this before, I would just draw a line here and connect it to the middle. Choose where I want it to go, which is like usually around here to extend it. And then um, draw a line like this, fill this in. And then thicken this part like that. So this ends up being a lot easier because I'm following my natural brow shape. Um, I'm following my natural brow shape, but actually my brows used to be even thicker than what I have like right now naturally, but I over plucked it during this phase of my life. So uh, if you guys are getting your brows done and plucking a lot, I don't recommend it. Uh, if you can use like the brow shavers instead because if brow trends change, you could continue to change with it. Um, I thought I was doing a good idea, a good job, like keeping it thin because that, that was the look um, in high school for me. Um, but so this is definitely darker than I would do on a daily basis, but if I were to go out and I know like a lot of flash photography will be taken, then yeah, I would darken it like this. Um, next part would be eyeshadow. Actually, let me set my brows. Sometimes if the product is a little bit too emollient, um, the brows might move, especially if you have foundation underneath. So I would use a loose powder over the brows. Yeah, that's just, that's just me. I'm gonna, I'm using this palette, the, the Balm Nude palette, because this is a similar color that what I would use, these three colors. Back then, like I said, I would use the angle liner with the same color as my brow, which is like a dark brown black color, right? Um, eventually I got liquid eyeliner, so let's use that first. So I, what I would do, I would ah, get a thin um, eyeliner and look forward, and then I would draw how I want my eye shape will be. So I would dot it be like this. I think I saw this in a magazine. So that's how I did my makeup. So this is see this eye bag? I'm gonna follow that shape upwards somewhere here. Eyeliners back then, um, the, the liquid ones, or you would put it over and there'll be like a film and it's kind of shiny and it would flake off. I hated it, but that is what I used. So then I would fill this in. I'm not gonna waste my eyeliner on that. So I'm gonna use a gel because I don't wanna waste my Shiseido. <laughs> but basically I would just fill that all in black. This right here is the e.l.f. eyeliner. Oh my God. It's really hard actually to do this. Um. This is generally what it looks like. I wish I would say it would look better and cleaner, but it would be a little bit lumpy like that, and I'll fix it later, but... Uh, I look funny. <laughs> I look like a raccoon. No one said anything. Anyways, let's continue with the eye makeup because I am not done. Okay, so after that, <laughs> I would use this eyeshadow, like a birdie, like a... this reddish color, and then I would go so I would go right over this, like that, to kind of try to blend out the lines. And then over here, I would draw a, another line, like a double eyelid line. It was very difficult. Let's try this. Let's stamp it first. Oh, shit. So I would keep on building the eyeshadow like this. And then just kind of using the excess to do like a slight gradient and then I would connect this part 
this will be my go-to look if I need to go to a concert or look cool at school I would do this and people would stare at me and I thought it was not weird at all um it's still not that weird it's just like I remember thinking like why everyone keeps staring at me so then I would use my finger to kind of like tap this out to blend which I don't know how effective that is but that's what I used to do I would tap it out like that and then go over again Okay, <laughs> so I did that and I thought, wow, my eyes look so big now. Um, and everyone would be like, oh wow, so pretty, your makeup, you're so good at makeup. And I was like, thank you. So after that, I would do, I would connect it to the bottom. So I would leave this part bare. Um, and then, so basically, let's go back to the same color. And then I would look straight and then basically draw a straight line here. Like that and then a straight line here so that's what I would do kind of draw like lines downwards to blend it that's how I would try to blend my eyeshadow back then yeah and then right here I would yeah I would do that yeah I would do that and I wouldn't connect this part, I would leave a gap just like that. I don't know why, but I just did it. And then I would use my fingers to blend. Okay, then I'm gonna darken it with black. So I would get the black. I would go under here to really exaggerate that shadow. Um, and then I would put black right here because I really wanted it to dark okay so after that I would use a white eyeliner I think back then I was using NYX like NYX cottage cheese or something I don't have that but I'll use my elf white liner I would put it in here to add separation and it was not good guys like it was crusty I think we were I would mimic like some of the gangro layout um and the visual k layout of makeup and that was like the coolest thing to me back then i was like oh yeah i could look different oh my god this is hard yeah it'll be like that and then underneath right here i'll go straight so over here i I just add the white to separate the black eyeshadow from the top part. I wish I took more photos back then, but I was very insecure about my face. And then every photo I took, I had to be really, really photoshopped. So I just didn't enjoy it. I think back then I would blend this out more actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, for time's sake, I'm just going to use this because it's a lot easier. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, but I think cottage cheese was a little bit more, there's a sheen to it, uh, so I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, this sassy color. Yeah, I'm gonna add this shimmery white on top, um, so I could get a similar effect of what I was doing. It was like everyone had this white under eye look at the time. I don't know why someone told us it was a good idea, so we all did it. Okay, so after that would be lashes. Um, I would use any lash I had today. Let's see. So I would use the top lashes, but I would put it on the bottom. Um, let's see what this looks like. It's been a while since I've done this, so damn. Okay, so I'm gonna cut just the last three. Um, okay. I would put it right here. Right where that outer corner is. Just hope, hopefully this works. I haven't done this in forever. Yeah, something like that. And then, hopefully this dries. And then I would get my black 
liner and I tap it over. Okay, and this part I will put it on top. Okay, hopefully that would stay. Um, I think sometimes um, if I'm being adventurous, I would highlight under my brow. I think today I will do that just because it's like um, a bit too dark from the concealer. So I'm gonna add the white. Ew, I hate my brows. Ugh. Crazy. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to this side. Um, so let's do a slightly... What do I do? Okay, let's do the look I've done when I go out, like... Okay, let's start Let's start with the blush color. So I'm gonna start with this color and put it all over my eyes real quick. Yay, I could use more brushes this time. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, I would usually conceal if I'm going out, so... Okay, so let's put a concealer before I put my eyeshadow. So this is the Sam. Um, shade 1.5 Tap this in Okay, that looks good so far um, So after that, let's put the pink all over my eyes Something easy And then, let's get this dark color Well, this dark blush color right here And then I would go right where my eye bags are Like that And then have it radiate out, so this goes in. So I think the shape that I go for is generally the same as before. You can see like it kind of pulls out and then up. Um, and this part, I like it sort of straight-ish. So I would go out like that. So if it's a little too strong, just use a blush brush and then sweep it off. But after that, I'm gonna use the middle color and go around everything again, like here. Ooh, someone's texting me. So I have to go to a party after, I think. I don't think I have time to take off my makeup and, <laughs> you know, um, redo it. So I guess I'm gonna go out like this. I wonder how people would react. Maybe they won't even know. Maybe no one looks at my face, right? So, yeah. So this is generally what I would do. Um, okay, so after that, I'll get the light pink color right here. And then go around the edges, just so it's all really blended as much as possible. Also a little bit on the nose. So there's color. A little bit on the forehead. A little bit around my lips. Just a lot of blush, actually. <laughs> and then after that, get the big one again and go over everything. I would have to deepen this look because if I'm going out, it's going to be a bit more dramatic. So I would just use this this color right here, this brick tone, and let's go right here outside and then the inside and then this color right here on my middle part and then let's highlight same color right here right here and then let's line this um i'm gonna use this color to line just the outside part yeah i guess that's that would be it um, I don't really wear mascara back then or now. I really don't like mascara. It doesn't feel good. Um, blush, I wouldn't put blush. I'm doing this because it already has blush. This side, I, I did not have blush back then. I had no idea what that was. <laughs> but let's do lips. So back then, I would also do like a nude kind of lip. Um, so I would use my foundation or BB cream or powder and cover like the outside part of my lips like this. Oh god, why? Um, I was really insecure about my lips back then because everyone made fun of me so I would conceal it and try to make it look smaller um, because I don't know why like thin lips were considered like 
beautiful back then, at least that's what everyone said or all my friends. Uh, I used to get a lot of hate online for having big lips for some reason. So it was a definitely insecurity for me. So I would do like that. Um, maybe not as pale, so I'm gonna powder it. Yeah, so it'll be something like that, and then I would probably put a lipstick in the center, which I still do, I just don't do it as drastic like this. Um, so both sides I'm gonna use M Cosmetic Vintage Rosewood, but on this side I'm gonna go over with the gloss Magic Hour from M Cosmetic. Last step would be highlighter. Back then I didn't use highlighter, obviously. Um, I'm actually gonna use this shade right here, this eyeshadow. Um, basically everywhere I was putting my blush on my nose, over here. Yeah, very subtle. I like it. Um, not too crazy. This side, very, very crazy. Last thing would be to set my makeup. Sometimes I set my makeup, sometimes I don't, but this side I'm gonna use the face fixer. So how do I do this? Like this? Yes, I want it a little bit more sheen and life. And then on the other- ooh, this is kind of sweet. Don't eat it. It's bad for you. <laughs> um, but the other side, I'm gonna set my makeup with HD powder. Because I think I used to use baby powder actually to set my makeup after. So I could look crazy and like a vampire, I guess. I definitely was going for that <coughs> vampire look. <coughs> what is going on? I look ridiculous. I see myself in the mirror over here. Um, sometimes it would go over my brows too and make it kind of gray and ugly. But I didn't know any better, so this is exactly what I did. And I should have contoured back then because I could see this like so dark and so light here. But what I did before was I was hairspray my hair down so the wind doesn't blow and it doesn't show that part. So my hair would be my contouring. I wanted my face super matte and ghastly. Um, okay. Uh, let me get changed real quick with the rest of my outfit and then you could get the full effect. I'll be right back. Okay, so I changed. Um, my outfit's a little bit crazy, but... <laughs> so back then I used to tease my hair a lot. Um, I actually couldn't do it today because I don't own a strong enough hairspray and I don't have a brush. I'm using like a roller. Don't judge me. But um, I would try to get my hair as big as possible. Was... And like I was into like the mixed texture and crap. So it's like, oh, maybe parts of it's curly. Some is like not wavy. Some is straight. And then like, Ooh, let's put this crap on. And then like... Uh, and then we would... Ooh, my weave! Shit! <laughs> my bad. Um, uh, I don't have bobby pins here. I'm not at work. So um, I would try to like grow out this mullet tail, which right now I'm actually trying to do still, so I'm like... I want to grow it up to here, but back then, like, it was down to, like, my nipples or something. Um, and then it would always be, like, multiple colors. I didn't really have it one color. Um, oh, right. My bangs. My bangs before was, like, this. So I had to have that center piece, and then this goes to the side to where, like, the makeup stops. Yeah, sort of like that. And then I had a lip ring back then, so you could still see my scar. And then before I would put a safety pin in it, bad idea, don't do that. Um, so, and then I had a chain, something like that. Yeah, so I'm sort of into the same things still, because uh, I was really into the moto jackets back then, and I still am. So this is an example of something I would wear, if, but maybe not as nice, right? Um, 
Uh, I still wear this jacket. Um, I wore a lot of black back then and mixed metals, like gunmetal with silvers. Safety pins were like a huge thing because they're super cheap and you could just put it everywhere. I used to just put it all over my clothes. Um, obviously, I still like safety pins because I bought a safety pin earring when I was in Harajuku. And yeah, I was really into Harajuku fashion back then. Still am a little bit. Just don't really do full out. Um, but I still get inspired by it. Um, my hair these days tends to be flat. I don't really style it. And then it just goes where it goes. Uh, I don't really like to keep it too long on the front because I feel like I might break out. Um, <laughs> so I usually get it shaved underneath. Back then I actually shaved underneath too. It just I kept it long everywhere else. Um, a lot of times people would think I'm like a woman. Uh, and I used to be so offended thinking like, why would you think I'm a woman? Because I obviously don't look like a woman, but you know, there's a lot of makeup, like how is anyone supposed to know? Yeah, so this is like a leather shirt and I would pair it with like random fabrics that I would get at the thrift store, so I would probably like drape over this sequin thing over here and have like some extra crap to it. And then I used to embellish a lot, so um, oh my god. So maybe like some random stuff at the dollar store, I would pin it to things, I don't know, pin it to my hair, um, or eyeballs were a big thing. See, so I, I was really into like Club Kids and the uh, movie Party Monster, so I would just like play around with everything. So I would get like googly eyes and maybe like, like uh, freaking put lash glue and put it on my neck or something like that. Um, butterflies was a huge thing. I remember I had a lot of, uh, what's it called? Butterfly jewelry. Um, I would buy it at like a bookstore, like Kinokuniya. Uh, and I was really into Loveless, the anime. So it was like, ooh yeah, butterfly is so cool. It means like freedom and like, like beauty from afar, but up close is scary. Um, so like butterfly stuff, so maybe I'll put it like on my hair or something. That's not a bad idea. Let's just, no, I don't have anything to adhere it to. Will it just stay? Why am I like this? What does the back look like? I just totally put a toupee on, but on half of my head. I put a toupee on half of my head. I don't know what it looks like. Um, maybe I'll put a hat later so I don't look ridiculous. She, um, where's my lash glue? Um, I guess the other thing I used to do would be like the neck contour because of like Rookie from Gazette or something. So to do that, I would just get like a cream thing. Um, and like kind of just go down like that. Yeah, so I would do that. Um, I think my makeup will melt out like by the end of the day usually, but I didn't really care. And this is just how I would walk around. I'll be like sitting in school studying and like doing my homework or going to Target or going to the thrift store looking like, um, I don't know, I thought it was so fashionable, I thought it was so cool, and I was like, I'm gonna look like this forever is not a phase, mom. I am like this, this is how I am, this is how the world made me, I look beautiful, you just cannot accept me for who I am. Yeah, I totally thought all that. I would, it would never be out of style, um, this is just a thing, you just don't know. <laughs> I'm not scary, I'm just being myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, this is how I got into hair. Um, I couldn't afford to get my hair done, so I started doing my own hair, doing my friend's hair, because we needed to go to the, the goth clubs, the punk shows, the visual K shows, and concerts. 
wanted to look not lame, so I would do my hair or their hair and then fuck it up and practice and get better. Um, I went to beauty school after that. And then that's when like real life started happening. I think I started working like 15 at a hair salon. So slowly like I was learning that, oh, you need to like tame it down. So I think that by the time I was 17 or 18, I had to like start taking my piercings off. Um, Cause I used to have a brow piercing and a lip ring. Uh, and then I dyed my hair like a normal color. And then it wasn't that fun. I wasn't having fun in life. I was very stressed, but life was very stressful. Um, and then I think when I was like around 21 or 22, that's when I started like trying to dress up a little bit more and dyeing my hair, doing my makeup again, but like a tamed down version. So it's kind of like a hybrid of like, um, like something that's more acceptable. Is that a good word? I don't know. Something that's not as crazy, basically. It's kind of like a, a filtered version of the me of my youth, right? <laughs> so, what do you think? This side? Or this side? Ignore this part, though. I don't know. Um... I don't know. I think things that did change, I kind of like more cute stuff now. Like I like stars before I wouldn't like stars. I would like skulls. <laughs> um, I like, I don't know. I grew up a lot. I'm not as embarrassed to say little things. Like I like anime. I used to not think it's cool or I used to be really anti Disney cause I thought I was too happy. Uh, stuff like that. <laughs> but um, yeah. This, this is crazy to see me like this. Um, oh my God. The lashes is a weird thing. Shit, my brother. Hi, Davey. I'm doing my high school makeup. Do I look like me in high school? Uh, yeah, a little. <laughs> I think your hair is better now. My hair is so much better now. Yeah. <laughs> Before it was so thin and I would have extensions. Yeah. Yeah, it was really thin back then. But my eyeliner was this big. Before, do you remember? Uh, no. Yeah. But he, it does look We didn't hang out that much back then. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I remember I would try to wipe off my makeup before I get home so mom and dad won't see. Oh. But I wear so much eyeliner that it would be like running across my face. And then they'll be like, are you wearing makeup? I'm like, no. But they would yell at me. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for the video. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you want me to wear my makeup more often like this. Or do you prefer like this? <laughs> Um, yeah, so I guess I have a party to go to, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and, yeah, yeah, let's, 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 let's end this before it gets worse, ah, so, yeah, um, have a good day, guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you next week, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. Don't look at me. Maybe. Shit. What's up? What's up? I'm gonna show this side of my face. Don't look at me. I did. <laughs> Wait, that's tight. That's a good look. No, I did have my high school makeup. This fabulous person that just showed This is my high school makeup on this side. Did you? You look did, so good. Did you used to do like a thick ass eyeliner? Yes, like I did. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. It's okay. Josh's birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah.